Hey guys, so I'm bringing you another preview of the Box vs. Zombies game type that will be uh, coming soon to Planet Beacon. Um, I am going to cheat a little bit and get the upgraded bow um, before the game actually starts because... Uh, and there's the rain bug, i got to fix that. Um, and I'm going to be cheating because you're supposed to play this with four people and obviously it's only me. So uh, I'm going to cheat. And also, um, we haven't fully tuned the waves yet, so... Currently, I don't believe it's possible to even get to wave 20, so we're going to have to tone down the mobs and stuff, but uh, anyway. Um, so I have changed these to only one gold per, but uh, and I've stolen some gold, but um, uh, don't worry, it'll be, um, you know, you'll be able to get them, or I, I shouldn't say don't worry, but anyway, the Reaper is the most powerful bow, so I'm going to take uh, two of those just to see how far I can get, just in case I break one. And then there's the Asteroid Launcher with Flame 1, Punch 2, Power 2, powered by Magic and Seth Bling's farts. Uh, Seth Bling is actually the one that created this game, and he made it in fully Redstone. Uh, obviously, Redstone isn't the best way for us to run it server-wise, um, but it worked great um, you know, in single-player on and on a just single vanilla server. Um, so here's the Inferno Bow that has Flame, and they all have Infinity. Oh, actually, I didn't put Infinity on that one. That's a problem. Uh, so I obviously need to fix that. Um, and the Daedric Bow, or I, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but it's from, um, Skyrim, so it says made for dragons, but zombies work too. Uh, and then just the, the, uh, Zephyr Bow, which has just punch one. So, um, I'm gonna start the game now, uh, and the zombies will start coming. You won't have to type slash start, it'll just start with four people, but, uh, that's how we're going to do it. So, <clears throat> let me use the upgraded bow. You'll see how you'll see how much this uh, this bow actually helps um, when you actually get enough gold later in the game to buy it. And this rain is a little annoying, but that's okay. So the zombies obviously do move at you now, so <laughs> we've made that improvement. They're supposed to spawn a little further back, but uh, we haven't changed that yet. I'll change that uh, soon. But, um, yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff, and I'll show you the, um, once I get 150, I will show you the cannons again, because I know last time you didn't really get to see those too well. Um, but again, prices and, and points and stuff, a lot of the stuff's going to change, like, for prices, because we haven't really had, um, once we open the, the testing for, uh, Skylord users, um, we'll be able to test better and, and be able to see, um, you know, what sort of levels are balanced for the game. Because we want, um, we don't want every group of four to be able to get to, to wave 20. Um, we do want it, want it to be a challenge, so only, like, you know, some of the, the better users would be able to get to 20, and hopefully the, the people that couldn't will get better once they start, you know, playing more. So that's the idea. And then uh, we do have plans later on to add even more than 20 waves. Um, you know, if people do really do get that good, or maybe we add, um, we have it with more than four people, I don't know, um, you know, who knows, a lot could change, but, uh, we might have an option where it, it asks you, do you want to go above 20, um, and maybe get, like, some sort of point bonus, or coin bonus, I guess, so, uh, we'll see how that goes, but, uh, we, we did do some testing last night with, uh, a few of my friends, and we all got on here, and, uh, and played a game, four of us, and only man's left was uh, was playing too. Um, uh, and we did pretty good. We only got to round 13 though. Um, so that's, you know, obviously we do need to edit some of the uh, wave settings and how, how many zombies and what kind of zombies there are. I will give you a warning, the, the little zombies, the babies, they run so fast and you really have to keep on top of those. Um, otherwise they will end the game for you. Um, because they, they run so fast that it doesn't take much for them to bounce into the little chute down there. Uh, and of course, once they've once they fell in, that's it, and you've lost. Um, but as you can see, I'm I'm not having any issues right now because it's uh, or at least keeping the zombies back because I've got this great bow, and also uh, uh, there's not too many zombies, mainly because I have this great bow. Because with the regular bow, I probably would have been almost over by now. Um, especially with one person. But, um, let's see, I have 200 points now. I start off with 100, um, 
Lord users will start off with more points. It's probably not going to be a hundred, but it will be, uh, you know, it will be enough to like buy a berry or something at the start of the game. So if you have two lords in a game, then uh, obviously you'll you'll have a pretty decent advantage. Um, but you know, cell phone bill. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm gonna buy a berry or, or not a berry, but a. Uh, um, a cannon. So let me just try and get rid of some of these. See those little ones? They're ugly too. Or at least in this texture pack. Oh, forgot that guy in a second. Okay, let's get a barrier real, or a uh, cannon. So you use the bone tool, you right click, and it buys it. Um, and you'll see in a second they'll start lighting on fire when they walk by, or some of them will, because it, it only does it every so many seconds, I think. And the radius on the, the hit might need to be edited, who knows. But it did work okay last night. Okay. This is getting a little hard. <laughs> it's a lot of work. I don't want where I put that guy. I need to focus on these. Getting a little bit behind. So, if you haven't noticed, they do have to push each other in. They won't go in on their own. So, if you get more than, like, sometimes you can get away with two zombies behind each other, but if you get any more than that, uh, you're pretty much done with. Oh, uh, this is hard. I'm probably going to lose in a second. As you can see, I'm really struggling here with... Um, Oh yeah. Okay. Well, I think I did pretty good. I got to wave seven on my own, so I did cheat, obviously. But uh, but wave seven on my own, I don't think is too bad. Um, but uh, yeah. And here, I actually kind of want to show you the new lobby. Um, here, let me go to hub. And uh, I know a lot of you guys are gonna try and get in here, but don't worry, it's it's whitelisted. <laughs> um, but here's the new lobby. Let it load up. So what we have planned is we're gonna have like a, a minecart trail that goes from over there and just goes all around the whole map and we're gonna have uh, you know a track that I, I'll probably make it only lords can go through um, just to add an extra little perk for them um, but in the middle here is gonna be this volcano uh, and let me see if I can up my render distance because oh it's already up um, let's see it'll load eventually um, we're gonna have a big volcano in the middle here uh, with a platform on top, and that's where the actual, like, signs and stuff will be and where you spawn. Um, and we'll, f you know, there'll be a lot of fun stuff, but, uh, you know, we had all this terrain made and stuff. It was originally water down here, but I thought it looked better with lava. Um, but post your um, opinion in the comments, uh, and, uh, and you know, maybe we could change it. But I think lava's pretty good. Um, but, yeah, here's the minecart track. It's obviously very unfinished. Just the uh, the out sort of the outlines of what we planned on doing. It looks like the minecart trail is supposed to go all the way over here too, so it's going to be everywhere all the way through. But uh, I think you guys will really like it, and uh, we've put a lot of work into this the past uh, the past week or so. Um, but it's been planned for a very very long time. But now it's nice to be able to finally see everything coming together. Um, but Tell me what you think in the comments, like this video. I will be posting this one publicly. The last one I only showed to people on Twitter, um, but this one won't be public. So uh, let me know what you think, and thanks for watching.